So today, in this video, I'm going to be trying to make my gaming setup and my office setup for how I record and play on my games simpler. And to do that, you can see this is my current setup. So we've got four monitors. I've got one here, which is just got some PC that's on where I'm like obviously streaming or playing. Obviously, I have my social media open, my YouTube channel open. You can also see I'm recording my voice on there. Up here, we've got my Elgato that's recording the screen here. So this actually can be a fourth PC screen, but currently this screen here has got my Xbox on and actually you can see over here, both my Xbox and PlayStation 4 link up directly to that monitor via a switch box down there. Now, as I say, that can be a fourth PC monitor, but the other monitor we've got over here is also doing all of my Premiere editing. So I've got everything open that I kind of need, but it, it's... It's clustered. I want to try and simplify things. I want to make things easier. So can we take all of this, this monitor here, the gaming monitor, which will also obviously be my gaming monitor for PC, other social media channels and information, and of course the Elgato system, and obviously you can set these up however you want, but I've been working to do something here, and today I'm proud to share a brand new monitor that Samsung have released. They have loaned me this to review it, and I'm hoping that this will change and revolutionize my setup forever. Can we take all these monitors here and make one single monitor do all of this for us? Or will we require a second monitor? We will find out. So, in three, two, one. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Samsung CRG9 49 inch dual QHD curved QLED gaming monitor and it is a thing of beauty. So gone are my four monitors and we are now left with this single screen. So let's put this thing to the test and see if it can handle everything that I need it to. You can adjust the screen in a number of ways to get it perfect for you in the setup that you're looking to get. Right, as you can see in my desk, you can swivel it, tilt it, height adjustable stand, obviously all the flexibility that you need to position this screen for the maximum comfort for you. And of course, the panel's Visa standard mount offers the option of mounting it on compatible arms or wall mounts. The ports on the back of the screen are HDMI 2.0, there's one of those, there's two DisplayPort 1.4, there's headphones jack, four USB ports, two of which are 3.0 and two that are 2.0. All of these are situated on the back of the screen. So the Samsung CRG9 is equivalent to two 27-inch QHD displays side by side, and it immerses you in all of the detail and color. AMD Radeon FreeSync 2 technology and a 120Hz refresh rate provides crisp in images, even in those fast motion scenes, and a wider view built to help you win more and also do more. Well, let's see, shall we? Are those things true? We will definitely find out in this video. A screen of this size also means that there are plenty of options as to how it can be used. For instance, your setup could just be as a single screen, but then within that, it's for your PC and you've got plenty of different PC windows all around. Or you can of course set out for dual screen picture in picture, which is the perfect addition to any multitasker's setup. So to start off with, we are looking at this as a single PC screen. We started with three windows open. I've now mixed this up just to have a single window open where there is quite a lot of wasted space when you're just browsing the internet. But one thing I would say, Adobe Premiere Pro, get this open, put it full screen, and your editing becomes so much easier. I loved using this screen to edit. If I could afford to have one of these screens just for editing, I would most definitely do it. But hey, you never know, maybe one day. You can see on screen though, look at the amount of space you've got to play with when you've got Premiere open on one screen. And then just like you would do the dual screens, obviously we're still using this as a single PC monitor, you can make the windows to obviously look like it would do with those two 27 inch monitors, so like size displays. And of course, with anything PC, you can make the windows as small as you want. You could have eight windows open, you could have 10 windows open. It's completely up to you. But for me, three was probably the maximum, I would say, that was the best option for using it when you're using it as a single PC screen. But we're also here to talk about gaming. That's what this channel is all about. We want to make sure this monitor works for us, whether it's on PC or console. On screen now, you are seeing F1 2019 on PC. And I will tell you what, it is the best experience I have ever had 
playing this game with this monitor, especially when you see it in the cockpit view, which you'll see very shortly in this footage. You can see so much more of the track. The cars are far bigger. The wing mirrors actually feel like you can use them in this, whereas if you're using just a small 24 to 27 inch monitor, you just never really look at them. In this, it felt right. It felt like you were in one of those huge simulators where the screens just wrap around you. Honestly, one of the best experiences I have had for a driving game. So if you are looking for a monitor for driving games especially, this on PC worked absolutely brilliantly. Next up though, we're still going to stick with PC gaming, but this time we're going to try a first person stroke third person shooter in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Once again, the view is just incredible. You can see even from the plane, you can see so much more around you. And then when you parachute down onto the ground, it's far easier to see everything. What I would say though, it just felt, even though you could see a great kind of like horizontal view, the vertical view just felt that little bit too squashed. Whether it, this was just for PUBG, I don't know. I did try a couple of other games and you'll see that in a bit uh, on console. But overall, I would still obviously love to have this for gaming, but it just felt when it came to, especially when you got into combat on this game, it just felt a little bit squashed. Whether that was just me, I don't know. Overall, loved the look of it. Again, look how much of the screen is open. You can see players that you would not normally spot in an area far off to the left or far off to the right. One other thing I would say is when you are playing a game like this and you've got all of the different elements like your radar or your map that are on screen, it did feel like if you look at this now, if the like the the map in the bottom right hand corner, normally you can move your eyes really quickly just to get to that point. When you're playing on a screen this size, it felt like you actually needed to turn your head just to see where the map was. So whether that's a good thing or not, I know on some games you can change safe areas or you can change where they're located. But yeah, I think driving games on PC, phenomenal. First person shooters, works beautifully, looks amazing. Definitely gives you an advantage for the field of view. Just felt that little bit squashed. AMD FreeSync 2 supports the HDR content on display with reduced input latency and low frame rate compensation for the smoothest of gameplays. And of course, it's also built for speed with the rapid 120Hz screen refresh rate. Now this isn't the highest on the market, but for a screen like this, I'd be more than happy to take that 120Hz to reduce image lag and motion blur for a smooth gaming experience. Plus, with any great gaming monitor, it is packed full of options to optimize how your picture looks. There's a specific game mode that instantly adjusts contrast and color settings for pretty much any gaming genre, first person shooter, driving, an RPG, an RTS, etc. You can basically choose whichever game or type you're playing, you've got a screen setting for that. You can also switch to a low lag input mode for even better response times, and why not add the virtual aim point crosshairs to the screen to make your aim and shots even more accurate. So we've tried it full screen. What happens when you actually try the same thing on a console? So I plugged in my Xbox One X, went over to the settings, and obviously initially you could have seen on screen there, it loaded up when it was in the auto mode into kind of like a central screen. So I then switched that to the wide, and you can now see it does fill the screen. But I'm not gonna lie, it felt stretched, it felt it just didn't feel right, and I think that is down to the Xbox One more than the actual monitor, not having the relevant kind of like settings internally to be able to make it work perfectly. But I will say, you can also change to obviously the dual screen, which I've done here with the picture in picture. So you've got one feed on the right hand side being the Xbox One and the other side being the PC. But you can then change the aspect ratios to a 21 by 9 and 11 by 9. So now on the left hand side, my PC is set to 11 by 9, but it still thinks it's in the full screen. So I had, would have to change all of the settings in the monitor in theory and the PC to make it work correctly in that 11 by 9. But I just wanted to try it for this mode. And now you can see a clear 21 by 9 image for the Xbox One X, which does look very, very good. You can, of course, switch these round. So if you wanted to have the Xbox in 11 by 9, you can do that, and the PC would then switch to the 21 by 9 rather than having the standard two 16 by 9 screens. You can see that all here in the menu settings. 
Once again, the PC would need to have its obviously settings internally changed so that the monitor knows which ratio to put itself into and you could then utilize the screen more. But for me, I've got to say, I loved actually having the 21 by nine image for the Xbox One, but obviously with the two dual screens, this is the perfect option for any streamer out there. I've got the Xbox One running on the right hand screen and then on the left, you've got the PC with all the relevant windows you would need to get your stream up and running and making sure that you're managing chat, donations, the way that the stream is performing, all of those sort of things. So for instance, you could have OBS open, chat from your Twitch or YouTube stream, and of course, anything else that you want, maybe even your social media, so you can keep on top of everything that's going on whilst you're still streaming. So I guess then the question is, is the Samsung CRG9 worth it if you're a gamer? Well, for me, I would say, most definitely, if you can afford to purchase a monitor like this, I would say it's definitely going to replace a three screen setup. I don't believe it can force a four screen setup into this single unit, but if it comes down to anything like using Premiere and editing, the screen is perfect. PC games looked incredible, especially the driving games, and I'm sure tactical RTSs would just, the world would open up so much further. First person shooters, as I say, felt a little bit squashed, and I would then go with console. The monitor works perfectly if you're utilizing either the 21 by 9 aspect ratio or the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I don't believe that it's the perfect choice if you want console monitor if you wanted to use it as a full screen option. That is though down to the console rather than the monitor itself. So I do hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some more information. If you'd like to know more, I'll leave a link in the description to the monitor. And of course, ask me any questions in the comments and I will try and answer them as quickly as I can and give you all the information that you do need. A huge thanks to Samsung here in the UK for loaning me this monitor. I was gutted to let it go, but maybe one day I'll have one of these back on my desk once again. Until the next time, I do hope you enjoyed it. Believe in your dreams, become legend. I'll speak to you again very soon in the next one.